Hey everyone, welcome back to US Water Rockets for the conclusion of our water rocket boosted glider experiment. In our previous video, we explained how we set up an experimental payload deploy system on our water rocket that we adapted to release a paper glider at Apogee. You can go back and see that video if you want to see how the system operates in detail. Then, we asked you, our fantastic audience, to give us your thoughts on whether you thought the test would fail or fly in the comments section of our previous video. Your comments fell into a couple of distinct categories. YouTubers like Water Rockets Berlin, LOL Plane, Lord Sparrow, and Chris Bills thought it would fly successfully. A number of you, like WizKid490, CJet99, the KSP Designer, Rocket Feud Rockets, Blenderite, and Bass Rockets all thought that the aerodynamic stresses of the launch would shred the paper or otherwise destroy the plane. While nobody was 100% correct, a lot of your predictions were partially accurate. Let's all check out the test flight to see what really happened. Three, two, one, launch! As you can see from the onboard video, the drag on the paper plane ripped the tail hook right off. A short period later, the catapult launcher flung what was left of the plane off to one side. Also, the initial drag of the plane flopping around had pulled the rocket off course and it turned backwards over the woods behind our launching area, where the parachute deployed and it became snagged in a tree leaving the rocket about 60 feet high. Our tree recovery system, which we have used in the past to rescue everything from drones to kites to rockets, had to be employed to recover the rocket. You can learn more about the tree recovery system in the linked video. As for the paper glider, it was nowhere to be found. It eventually turned up in the woods about 200 feet from where the rocket was recovered a few days later. There had been a rainstorm since the plane was lost, so it is hard to know whether the sad condition of the plane was from the launch or from bad weather. The first YouTuber to make the closest prediction of the actual test results goes to LRTNZ, who correctly estimated that the paper glider would tear off and would affect the trajectory of the rocket. Given what we learned, we will probably attempt this experiment again with a different configuration, possibly a stronger glider or an internal launcher. Let us know what you think we should build. Thanks for all of your great guesses and surprisingly accurate predictions. It was a lot of fun doing this video, and we hope you enjoyed our audience participation experiment. We look forward to doing this again with a few other experiments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.